Hello guys, let's do this. Now we can all see that WIC examination 2023 is ongoing and uh, very soon you guys are going to have be doing physics. You can just look into my channel and check out uh, all uh, of my physics videos that has more to do with uh, the WIAC examination and the rest. So if you are new to my channel, I am Engineer D and I do make, uh, I do make physics of videos as well as uh, other related science subjects like chemistry and mathematics. In this video, I'm going to be treating how to answer why questions effectively, how examiners expect you to answer questions, how not to be saying nonsense, why you think you're actually answering questions in the right way. Now from experience, I will be taking some few questions we can see on the screen and I will be making sure I show you what we markers look into or let me say chief examiners look into when you are answering questions. A very good example of why a question you can expect 2023 is this. The first question, I'm using 9 minutes for this short video. We have to define reactants. The B part of it or the Roman figure 2 says we have to define impedance in an AC cell. So that means both reactants and impedance are seen in AC cell. So now this is the definition you are expected to give. For the first one, you are expected to write for the examiner to know that you know that uh, when you talk about reactants, we are talking about what opposition. to the flow of current in an AC circuit. I just hope that is not cutting. Thank you, Admin. So that is that. I'm just going to be abbreviating some stuff so that we won't worry. We will just do everything in one word on that one slide. Now, the next one says, Impedance. Now, impedance is denoted by Z for those of you that know that. The examiner does not expect you to be what? Wasting your time. Give proper definitions and you move on. Now, this is the sum total. You can say sum total. If you like, you can say the overall resistance. Or you say the overall opposition to the flow. of current in an AC circuit. Please you write in full. First of all, now some of you are found to this uh, kind of writing. It is measured in ohms. It is denoted by Z. It is denoted by what? X, R and X, L. You don't actually need to write that. It is not needed. Give your own wordings of definition. Don't copy make sure you have a slight difference in the kind of definition you are giving. I hope this is taken. The next one is uh, we have a diagram. So I'm doing the B part now. Now for the B part we have a diagram and in the diagram we have two magnets north and south. I mean watch my time for me. North and south we have a slip ring and we can see that it is connected to a load and uh, what you understand here when we see this type of diagram we are being told that what the coil is rotating in the direction of clockwise, as you can see from the arrow up there. Now the question says the diagram illustrates an AC generator. When the coil is rotated, rotation of coil as the coil is rotation is rotating, is undergoing rotation, and EMF is induced. The Roman figure one says, explain why EMF is induced. Now, this is testing us on the concept of our electromagnetic induction because from Faraday law and Lenz law those two laws explain the concept of electromagnetic induction that is when coil is brought when the conductor a coil or whatever you call it a conductor is placed very close to what a magnetic field what will happen an EMF is going to be what induced so the question is now fine why is EMF induced? I love this type of question. The simple answer you can give to that is just 
the right I can start with because you can see this is due, this is because you can see this is because there is a court. I always say this on my channel if you watch all my concept video these are my language there is a court because there is a court between because there is a court between the magnetic the conductor or the coil the conductor you say the coil and the magnetic field So that is the reason why EMF is generated. The concept is very simple. You know, they believe as you move the coil very close to the what to the to the convert the conductor very close to the field, uh, the magnetic field lines are going to be increased because you believe the coil are rotating because you are moving it close. Because now there are electrons in the coil, the magnetic field we now what we we change the direction of the flow of electron. And when the direction of flow of electron is changing, we say what induced current or induced EMF is generated. That's the concept of EMI we call uh, electromagnetic. So just try the simple language. This is because there is a cut between the what the conductor and the what magnetic field, because the magnetic field is what is what is because magnetic field is generated, then this magnetic field brings about what induced EMF. And the next one, which is remarkable to drop down one stage, that uh, you have to state the purpose of sleep ring. Now, the purpose of sleep ring is just, is just to make uh, the current or uh, the direction of what, look at the direction of rotation. Rotation direction is going to be what? Be flowing in what? In one direction. So it enables, enables the uh, flow of current. in one direction. So I think this is better. And if you are writing it in another language, it's also acceptable. The third one, because of time, so mark this 10 minutes. Name and state the law that is used to determine the direction of induced current. Now the second law, which we call Lenz law. Lenz law is used to, what, the, what, to determine the direction of induced current. It even states that the direction of induced current work in such a way so as to affect or to change the direction of what the change of the change in direction of what of the current. I don't want to be rushing but it's just the matter of what time. Let's just say that the direction of induced current. So we use it to measure induced current. Always oppose. It's also known as law of conservation of energy. Please note that direction of induced current always oppose the change producing it. The next one is our state two ways to increase the induced EMF. And this EMF can be reduced in what in different way. If I would say electromotive force or induced EMF is given by the formula N A B omega. So it depends on the two you want to mention. For example, I can say one increasing the number of tons, two increasing the area, three increasing the magnetic field, and four increasing the what? The angular velocity. City. So just pick any two that is convenient for you and keep this at the back of your mind. And the last question there, which is the C type, I will do that now. A lamp is rated 12 volt and 6 watt. Power is 6, voltage is what 12. Calculate the amount of energy in 5 minutes. Energy, everybody know, is power times time. So the only thing technically is that the time here the comma to seconds. The power is given to the 6 watts. The time is 5 times 60. As you can see, this is like saying 30 times uh, 60. 8,800. I hope students get it. I multiply 5 by 60 by converting that to, what, to seconds. So guys, this is just a short video just to tell you how I expect you guys to answer a question if you want from us. So good luck in your exam. Take care and bye for now. Thank you.